Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to use dashboard. So first let's go to dashboard. Go ahead and click this and it'll take you to dashboard. If you want to go back just click the back button. Also on your keyboard you can hit the F4 key and it'll take you to dashboard. Hit it again and it'll take you back to the desktop. Okay so let's look at dashboard. By default you get these four widgets calculator, calendar, and the clock. If you ever want to change the location for the weather, just go ahead and click this I button and you can type in your location. Go ahead and do that on your own. Okay, so let's add a few widgets. If you want to add it, just click this plus button and you can add more widgets. So let's say I want to add address book, the dictionary, and like, why not the stock? So here you can customize your dashboard however you like. You can just drag and drop the widgets to wherever you like to place them. And you have this much space so go ahead and add whatever you want to. If you ever want to erase them, just click the X and they will erase. Manage widgets will take you to this menu. You can go ahead and add more widgets or actually delete them from this menu. Go ahead and uncheck whatever you don't want and they won't show on the menu. So if I go back, they're not even showing here. Now if you ever want to add more, just click this more widgets button at the very bottom and then it will take you to Apple's site and here you can download more widgets so find whatever widgets that you would like and go ahead and download them okay last before I go let me actually talk about one of my favorite widgets which is the web clip so let me go to the menu and add it it's this one so if you just click it right now it won't really do anything because you haven't set it up anything you have to do that in safari so first let's go to safari and in safari let's say i want to add a web clip of this yahoo headline let's say i always read this and i always like to take a look at it go ahead and go to file open in dashboard and it will give you this window that you can adjust your liking of course you can choose whatever you like on the website and let me just click it and adjust the window so I can read what's on here all right after that's done click the add and it will add it onto your dashboard like so now this isn't just an image it actually updates in real time so if you take a look at it the headline will scroll and update in real time so if a new breaking news pops in this will update as well this works just like the website so you know this is a great way to customize your dashboard just add all the web clips that you like to visit and especially if you like to know the updates visually this is a great way to know also the great feature about this web clip is you don't only see it if you click it it actually takes you to that article so that's web clip a great feature in the dashboard all right that's it guys thanks for watching that's the tutorial for dashboard